Well, thank you very much for everyone coming. Thank you very much, Claire, for giving me this opportunity and yeah, this great yeah. venue to present my work. Um, so basically, um, I'm now working, like I'm co-founder of Great Gallery of Hong Kong, and the gallery um, start from last year, June 2013. We um, target to help um, American artists to have their first solo exhibition in our gallery. And um, in September, we are going to move away from Yong Ma Te. So Ma Thiu, next time when you come, we will be in Hong Kong. Okay, we are in a bigger place, um, with sea view, a cafe, and a river shop, so it will be bigger. Um, so basically, for those who didn't know me well, I'm TK, I'm the artist here. I have been in Scotland for 10 years. I start from my study in Edinburgh College. Um, I did a Scottish higher, and then I progressed on to a, a degree course in Edinburgh Lake here, where I met Matthew. And then after I finished, um, in Edinburgh Labia, I go back to um, Edinburgh College to do an um, access course which covered video and then a radio production which was interesting and that's why I met Alan. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I finished my study here, I got my master and then I worked at Edinburgh Labia. Um, I helped some um, Chinese students. They come to Lake to study and I help them a little bit of um, in their class and some personal life or if they have any question they come to ask me as well. And when I go back to Hong Kong, um, I work in a company called Samwa Pearl as UK, which has a great connection with um, UK institution. So we deliver some um, UK degree in Hong Kong and the student only need to study in Hong Kong and get their UK degree. So I have been the associate program leader for graphic design uh, at University of Sunderland. But now I'm more focused on um, the, the arts part now. So um, that's a bit of my background for those who really know me, maybe you know a little bit more now. And um, so for the um, Maybe how about we start from introducing Claire first? Is the um, who in charge the casino here? No, I'm not <laughs> quite in charge. <laughs> um, I'm the sales and events manager for the club, and this, as well as being TK's first exhibition, this is our first exhibition. Oh wow! So <laughs> we were just um, this has just newly become a, a fringe venue. So we were really delighted. Thank you. Um, we, became, we became a fringe venue, we just joined in March, so we were kind of last in the okay. door. And then TK contacted us, and obviously we've got a, a large Chinese connection as well in the casino. So we were very, very happy to be able to support and show this exhibition. Um, so it's a first for both of us, TK's first exhibition and our first fringe our first association oh, with the Fringe. So we're very, very delighted and we'd like to thank you. Your work is beautiful. Oh, you. We will be displaying it throughout the whole Fringe okay. Festival and we're very, very happy for anybody that wants to come in and look around. Okay, thank you. So thank you very much. And one more thing, and I apologise for the heat up here. Um, we've got a bit of problem with the air conditioning, especially when the sun's beating down for two weeks. So sorry about the temperature. If you're coming in again, just wear your bikini. <laughs> thank you. No, oh, actually, Blink Gallery is the first gallery from Hong Kong to, to join the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. And I chat with the office the first time. <laughs> I met Helen on the top of the bus. Actually, I met oh, Helen. Oh yes, no, in a Chinese school first. No, that's right, in Chinese school. I took my daughter to Chinese school, and she hated it. I did all the kids. Then later on, I met Helen. This is about twelve years ago. I met her on top of the bus, and she oh, said, "Was it twelve years already? Oh, maybe." Uh, I was just a kid. Ah, uh, she was <laughs> studying study design, and then I met her at, at the course. And then when I'm working in Hong Kong, my my flat was just opposite our company. Yes. So we carried on, I don't know, this, this kind of inconsequential little storyline. And every time we meet, Helen adds another, another few uh, <laughs> pictures to, to this very long, but, but very interrupted uh, conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the phone board history. Oh, she just sits there. 
and draws these little cartoons. And they're really good. I, I should have brought some as well. So it's really nice to see you here again. Uh, this is actually your second outing for the Fringe, isn't it? What second outing? I think you had some work sold in the Fringe before. Oh yes, uh, well that was in the French office, like my, oh, right, okay. my postcard and my book, yeah. it was sold in the French office, yeah. but for joining the French festival, it's my first time. Okay, so look forward to the next 10 years of... <laughs> This is be good for the uh, Hong Kong, uh, the, for the China, China Scotland China Association. Another ten years of of a, of a conversation. Okay, thank yes. you. Uh, where's Alan? I'm here. Yeah, Alan. Hi, I'm Alan. And, uh, Jerry, I've known for some time um, because he's uh, one of the some international students and people. I think I would delight to see plenty of in anywhere in Hong Kong. In such a vibrant, vibrant city for its finance, um, for its uh, new year, for its uh, jockey club, for its Land Rover club, a lots of things in Hong Kong that uh, make it such a wonderful place to be. And I'm delighted, certainly, there's increasing contacts between Hong Kong, China, and Scotland. It's culturally, it's very good for us. We learn um, how other people see us, and we learn more of how your country is to us, and collectively, it's good for business as well. This is something that's what I should mention, but it is and culturally creative the business wise. There's all sorts of reasons why <coughs> we need more blink galleries visiting us for the fringe. Things like that would be excellent. So, she was uh, uh, my time doing it academically as a student. She was absolutely super, very, very hard working, pleasant, um, uh, did not tire easily, inquiring mind, just the sort of thing that could do with more wants to the more students. Um, Got that the better, I think. So she's obviously it's been very successful for us, and I'm delighted to see um, her exhibiting here at the French Festival um, all together. So thank you very much. Oh, thank you. It's a pleasure. Um, and we also have another show. This show um, is not related to me. It's other Hong Kong people. They are also in Edinburgh. And it's, it's good to be in a show because they're a group of 20 and I'm a group of one doing everything. So, <laughs> so uh, this is my uh, oil painting. It's one of my favorite ones. Um, I picked the castle stock here because um, it's all surrounded by the lock. You know, you cannot just drive and then be there. You have to I take a boat or swim to the castle and um, in my mind um, long time ago castle is like a great wall in Beijing in China it's for protection on the wall but nowadays uh, a castle is more like um, romance you know people take their wedding photograph in there um, they, they go there to enjoy you know to have a great day and um, I, I choose this castle because it's like my um, princess are waiting for the prince in the castle and then to rescue her and then they are happy ever forever. But uh, nowadays in Hong Kong, girls are a lot more than the boys. So the boys don't need to work very hard to get the girls. <laughs> so uh, in this paintings, I want to say, um, I, in, in, in my mind, I think like um, to get your wife, you should work harder, like you should um, climb up the hill and then pass the water <laughs> and then go into the castle and then rescue the princess. And this is um, um, the story of that. And also because this castle is already privately owned, so it's not like a public view, you, you can go anytime. You only can, they only open certain time in the period. So if you go um, on the time, they are not open. So you only can see it from a distance because there has no boat and you cannot go there. And even if they are open today, if you make the reservation in advance and then it's no space, you cannot go there. So um, that also represents love in a timely, timely fashion. So if you love someone now, you should um, you should tell them, you should do something on it. Don't wait because it may be full, you know, it's, um, you need to make reservation for that. And I also <laughs> feel like boys should work hard to get their pieces. So this is about my thing. <laughs> um, 
I also have an exhibition in Cardiff before this one with another two artists in Hong Kong. So um, um, we are all prepared for this trip for like six months and gather the things and invite the Hong Kong artists to join us as well. So this venue is only my artwork, it's only my solo. And I also have other venues that um, have other Hong Kong artists artwork as well. And I've been there all very excited because um, um, for artists in Hong Kong, because our land are quite limited, it's not like here you know you have a big space. So um, it's quite difficult to find a venue to exhibit in Hong Kong. But now I have the chance to bring other people's artwork to here and we are all very excited and it would very good for that CV as well. So I feel like I'm doing something to help it as well. So and then, um, so um, this too is my illustration. And actually, I did that um, seven years ago when I was um, doing my master. And this was my final major project in Edinburgh University. And it's about um, how I feel about Scotland. So um, that was seven years ago, and this time when I come back, I plan to draw another book for illustration, and maybe I will do a crowdfunding for that, <laughs> and I will send you the details later. Um, I think it is a good time to take my illustration out again, because there has a hot topic about um, being independent in Scotland, right? And, um, and I hope to do something to build up like Scottish national um, and to support whatever that decision is as well. Um, so this is very funny and my illustration has been sold in the uh, French office, my book and the postcard. So you can have a look. Um, okay, so I have a lot of this. And this is my another oil painting. This is the Made in Scotland book. And me in Scotland um, collection and this is me in Hong Kong collection. So when I go back to Hong Kong, I miss Scotland very much. Um, but it's nothing I can do about that, right? So I start paint my painting again and then by missing it, I paint about Scotland. And, and it can help me to de-stress as well because in Hong Kong we all work very long hours. Uh, we work six days a week, you know, like 10 hours per day. So I like to clean something beautiful and put it up on my room so I can relax and 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 when people come I can share and about what is Scotland as well. So I I paint the Highland Pool. <laughs> so why I paint the Highland Pool is um, I think it is very special and I only see it here and I always have a passion in my mind. Why their hair is so long? Can they see it properly? Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, in Hong Kong now, a lot of gangsters or maybe the fashion people, they all have long hair and <coughs> fringe as well. And I feel they look like Highland Cow. <laughs> so um, when I paint it and then associate with the pop star in Hong Kong, and, and the people like it. So um, when I do my exhibition, it's not about showing my painting. And I have a mission to promote Scotland in Hong Kong through my drawing and tell them the story about that. Um, so we have a face in Hong Kong to play the piano to a cow. So a third of Hong Kong, third new times. So that means um, at this moment, because a lot of Hong Kong people, if they go, if they go travel, they may go to uh, Taiwan, they may go to Japan because it's cheaper. Even they go to Europe, they may only go to London, but not to Scotland. So I, I, I'm hoping next time if they come to London, they will think about maybe they can come to Scotland as well because it's beautiful here. But it's just because when I uh, first started, um, they don't really understand at the moment. So I think I need you know, more effort and more time to do that. So at this moment, it's a little bit to play the piano to a house. But I believe if I spend more time, you will be fine. And um, I also, um, this is the oil painting at the front. I also merge my painting with my illustration together. And then I think this is better when it is oil painting with illustration because I haven't seen anyone 
during that before. And by adding illustration, it can be more flexible because I can choose and I can tell the story behind that. So, for example, for this painting, when I do my exhibition, I I have the themes of a musical castle. This one it's about in the wedding. So I tell the Hong Kong people I educate them. Um, so long time ago, the bad hiding is for the war to um, encourage the soldier you know, to brave and then to to fight to attack. But nowadays, it's more for women and for in the red wedding. And then we got Highland dance, in Kelly dance in the wedding as well. And uh, we got <coughs> Scottish hair here. And also, this is a girl eating an oyster because I love the oyster here and. Um, we believe um, oyster got a chemical is good for men. So I think men need the oyster for the wedding. So I add it in the drawings. By adding the illustration, I got more story to tell about um, the story of Scotland. Well, a reference actually is quite small, quite tiny. It's just like me, I right? am really tiny. But um, you know, in Scotland, I saw them uh, in the um, clear the road, you know, with lots of cars and they eat the glass, very happy, they are strong and if of it is nowhere, they are not dying but for those rabbits we have in Hong Kong, we put them in the cage and uh, we give them hay, we give, give them dry food they, they have no chance for exercise and they die easily so um, the reason I have paint the hair is I want to say um, to all my drawings is try to talk about as well. Like even the winter is really cold, it may be very difficult to find the food. Just like when we work, we may face some problems. But don't worry, the spring is always is already coming. You know, you can see the little green plants. So you will be okay. So basically, I want to say, uh, if you have a difficult time, if you just keep going, and then the spring time will come. And that's about my yeah. Castle is the Elidonian castle. Um, after I have done the castle structure, um, lots of people in Hong Kong like it, but then has a problem is they don't know where it is. So I start thinking maybe I should do a castle that is more well known. So when the people look at it, they know it is from Scotland. And um, I got a little story behind the castle. It's about um, help them, how do you say, seize the day, basically. Because um, the castle are very old. If you want to visit that, if you are too old, you cannot take the stairs, and then you can't go inside the castle to visit it. So um, it's just like us, you know, sometimes when you want to do something, you think about it later, or maybe maybe let's summer and have you watched the cartoon Disney cartoon out after the old man with the balloon yes. it's all about um, he promised something to his wife when they are young to, to do an adventure but he hasn't done it and then at the end when his wife died already he do it on his own so I in here I want to say um, if you want to do something do it now okay like if you wait for too long and then you are too old and you only can join the virtual tour of the castle you can't actually go there and experience it and this is the this castle painting is made in Hong Kong um, because I was in Hong Kong I only can draw it from a photograph sometimes it's quite difficult because you look at the photograph it maybe prints it out and then it's very difficult to look at the details but when I'm in Scotland, I try to start drawing on site and I can feel it is a big difference because when it is a photograph, it is still and you never just get it right. So I start my first painting when I was on the flight. I, when I was flying from Hong Kong to here, I was thinking I got 16 hours on there. <laughs> what I can do on the flight, 16 hours. So I am... Um, I put a window seat and I got a wee table and I don't have enough space. I only bring two colors out, like just the white and blue to match the sky. And because I'm flying KLM, 
So and this is KLM's colors, and I think that match. So um, I I got the pain with me. I was a little bit unsure can I pass the security, <laughs> but well I, I did pass it. But I didn't have water because we cannot bring water to the security. So I used the water they gave me the mineral water. I drink most of that. I let half to wash my brush. So this this is the painting, and I draw like like about the sky. And this is another painting when I uh, went to Cardiff in June. Um, I have uh, another exhibition in the University of South Wales. Uh, it's only a one hour flight. It's very challenging. <laughs> this one I can draw and sleep, eat and then draw again. But this one is I think um, one hour 15 minutes to Cardiff. But for the first 15, 20 minutes, they don't allow you to use the table. Uh, you have to fly out and then they let you and then when they come Coming back down, they ask you to clear it. So this is the UK one, but you can see the difference. This one may be more high up, it's an international flight. So I, when I look, I only see the cloud. And this one is, um, in, how to say that, it, it's the UK domestic flight. So I managed to see more uh, field, but I don't know where exactly because the flight just keep flying. And I just keep drawing. So I think this is a collection of different places <laughs> into one of the drawings here. And um, I also like to paint with friends here because when I first started, I'm quite shy. You know, like I am afraid people will come and laugh at me when I start painting. So I asked my uh, best friend, she's from China, to paint with me. So a uh, Xiaoqin husband, where's Xiaoqin husband? Well, she's spread, she's spread to China, but uh, her rep representative, uh, her husband, is here. So um, we paint together, and the good thing is uh, when we paint together, we share. But we share the pain, we share the idea, and we help each other. So this two is my friend's painting. And I think this is very um, special because in my master project, it's all about how people look at one thing differently. And this image actually we paint in the Princess Street Garden. And for her, she will look at the green part, the garden part. But when I paint, I look at the castle. I don't know why, I just love the castle. And I find this is very romantic. So even we are sitting on the same table, but we are doing something totally different. And this is the Pro Bridge. We, um, we, we paint it in a... Um, in a restaurant, we sit. We managed to sit indoor. It was a bit cold out there, and uh, we use acrylic to paint, and we collect the water from the sea. So we collect the water to mix with our paint to draw on here. And um, apart from that, I also go um, go with Alan. Alan drive me to wherever I want to paint, and uh, we went to. Sorry, I forgot where you sit at now. I just can't pronounce the word. Enster. Enster, okay, Enster. It's Enster. And um, this is the first time I put the sand <laughs> from, from the bridge there um, on the painting. And I think when I take it back to Hong Kong, <laughs> the people will like it so much. And I got um, this one, this from China. More of Rwanda, is it? More of Rwanda. Alan, how to pronounce it? Alan, how to pronounce it? More of Rwanda. The more of Rwanda, is it? More, more of Rwanda. Rwanda, Rwanda. Rwanda, Rwanda. Rwanda, Rwanda. Yes, near the Black Mount, just before Glen Cove. Yes, yes. Um, I actually buy this pen, this uh, canvas in Highland. So this is from Highland. And I paint, and this is the most special experience, blood loss experience for me. Because um, I saw they had some pictures, but I didn't feel they are fighting me. But when I go back home, it's, I still feel nothing. But the next day, I got 20 bites, and they all focus to bite my bottom. So um, I don't know why. <laughs> maybe it smells, <laughs> or maybe it tastes like. 
um, and then I cannot go out for three days because it's so itchy, you know, and I keep scratching it. So I would say this is my like most first blood loss experience in Scotland. So for this original painting, um, they are on the table and you can have a look. And if you are interested to buy any paintings, and you can talk to me. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming.